So, torrential rains, the famous Bahalada torrential rains, and uh, and I'm walking in an umbrella. Cannot move the camera too far from my face because it will get wet if I push it outside the umbrella. And here is the sleeping mat. I'm carrying next to my face so that it doesn't get wet. Now the umbrella came into picture because we met these Gaddi shepherds who offered to walk with us and help us. And they took my bag, my backpack. I'm carrying their backpack, uh, much lighter than mine, probably one tenth the weight. And uh, they went away with my poncho to cover my bag, and I'm taking their umbrella and their bag. So, uh, surprisingly, uh, when I did Kareri Lake, surprisingly, someone told me that uh, someone on Flickr uh, messaged me that uh, their guide used an umbrella of all things, and they used uh, some pretty heavy-duty rain gear, but still, he was drier with just wet shoes. And uh, now I know what he meant. I thought that probably the person has a wrong idea of his guide not getting wet in the umbrella. But now I know better I stand corrected. Maybe, potentially, maybe my next trek I would let go of the poncho and bring a rain cover and an umbrella. It's just that I'm getting wet from my from behind because the umbrella has a few holes and it's raining too hard. But otherwise, I think a good umbrella bought from Decathlon for I think they sell for 600 or 800 bucks. It's a wider umbrella than this. It should also cover my backpack and my sleeping mat on top of my backpack and of course myself. You can always carry trek pants and umbrella. Huh, thankfully, the rains have subsided. So, yep. Can move the... Oops. Wow. Almost twisted my ankle. So, that's why you shouldn't record videos while walking on the trail. Especially in rains. <laughs> Signing off.